Hi, just by who cares? Here's my review of a Plague's Tale Wacken and them. Um, before I go into all this, and uh, just the, the version I played is the Xbox Series X version on Game Pass. Yet yeah, I played on Xbox, and before going into this, what, what I like, what I dislike, I tell you the stories quickly, spoil free, cause. Yeah, I will mention spoilers near the end, but what I said, I will put in a timestamp. Just get that bit, you know what I mean? So I will warn you. But after this bit of now, it's all going to be spoiler free. So the story is, basically, it teams off from the first game. You know, I played Tale of Innocence. And basically, um, Amelia and her family and, you know, you know, a friend... Are looking for answers basically, and um, you know, looking for a way to help Hugo. And basically, Amelia had enough and took her own hands, so she take Hugo and go off to a quest to look for a cure basically from Hugo's dreams. So that's all I'm gonna mention at the moment now. So, what about this game? It's a masterpiece. I've being serious is a masterpiece. Yet there's problems, but I will mention that near the end. But the reason why it's a masterpiece is first the looks. I mean the graphics in this game. It I don't care what people say to me. This is the best looking game I've seen this year. It is visually beautiful to a hurt. I mean, I very rarely use photo mode on a game. As again, I'm not into that, but. In this game, I there are a couple of times I use photo mode in it just to walk on wild environments, just to walk around this world. The way it looks, the way it prevents it is so beautiful, and God it is so wishing the law in this is so amazing. Again, that the one looks, and there's law in this too. Which God, the world and this, and, and again, the first game is so underrated. Yeah, I know people still play it, but to me, I think it should be a lot more higher on people's minds. Because the world in this game is amazing. And the story, too, behind, you know, this, this case, basically, of this kid going through. And well, another thing I like is the gameplay. Like, right? now, it is a bit of narrative, which I won't mention a bit now, that there's not much new gameplay. Per in gameplay mechanics in the game, there's not much of it. I admit that, but the reason why it's still put on positive is with the first game. There has been a couple of problems with where they use like uh, move around or swing your swing or you know stuff like that to take down your enemies. It's been hard to do in that game. With this one, a positive of it feels so good to do and. To me, it's a better polished game than the first game with on the movement. Which, again, you understand the first game because it basically is a small game. No going, no, no. I mean, and in this one, it improved everything. Yet there are new game mechanics, but not much. So I warn you there. And third is, and finally, is the story. Like. Yeah, I can't mention much about the story, but we'll mention it at the end on the spoiler side because I do want to talk about it because it does affect the future of you know the franchise. But the story is God from the first minute to the last minute I was hooked on it. I played this game at a techno on my timer on my Xbox. Just under seventeen hours I complete the whole story on the first playthrough. Again, I haven't got everything, you know, all the credibles. Like, I got a handful, but on my first game through, it took me 17 hours to go through it. And the story is so good. From you find out more lore about this case, which, God, this, the case story is so good. So tragic, too. There's a uh, history of it. They are the history of this case. And then you see, like, new characters, their storylines, too. It's so... There's no thing, too. This might sound stupid about to say, but if they make spin-offs on this, this world, on other characters, I would pay to play it still. Because there's that many stories, and especially in the world, it's telling from. It's so amazing. So that's what I can praise with it. The story is top there. Now, the narratives, which I don't have much, 
One of the mentioned before with the gameplay, there's not much new features. But, another thing I can mention, which is a bit a pain, and is to me is a pain, is the upgrade system. Now, in the upgrade system, you got to quite the tool set or where it is, and basically you can upgrade your bow and arrow, your um, swing soft, and your bag and stuff like that. Now, the problem is some of them, you, you say, okay, fine, one is making swing soft quieter, fine, one, but there's some that is fucking stupid, like for example, um, one upgrade for the swing shot is you can fire two shots dead quick. Uh, okay, but the problem is, most of the game is stealth, though. Most of the time, you be be throwing it one at a time. Yeah, there's a couple of times you do, you can have that has um, a handy tool, but that's near, right near the end of the game. But most of the game, you don't need that. And the other thing which pissing me off, I think is so fucking stupid, is the bow and arrow upgrade, with the, the top upgrade, because there's three tiers on the upgrades. And on the top bow and arrow upgrade is... It's not more power, which I thought it would be, but no, it's um, work. If you fire your bow and arrow, you can pick one out of a dead body. It's like, can't just do that in the first place, you know what I mean? <laughs> How Ukwe can do that, I don't. Again, that's the only pain I got with this game. I think the upgrade is quite a bit stupid in this game. But except for those issues, it's still a very good game. Yeah. The dialogue can be a bit teasy. You did teasy dialogue in this game. But the thing is, if you played the first game, you know what the dialogue is. And at the same time, it, it are children. Most of the cast are children. So technically, it's up being children, you know what I mean? Yeah, the girl is like 18 or 20, you know what I mean? But still, you know what I mean? She's still like a young kid, you know. She's still like, you know. And plus, she acted what half of a kid too. So she got to be a bit more childish towards the kid, you know what I mean? So, this next session is going to be um, spoilers now, because I want, do want to talk about the ending, as this is, is could be a hit or a miss on some people. To me, it's a hit, but I can't go into it, because just in case people watch this video thinking, um, oh, I haven't played it yet, you know what I mean? So, I'm going to put the time stamp here, so please skip, you know... And go tour to, you know, the, <laughs> you know, the final thoughts. So, five, four, three, two, one. So, spoilers. And the reason why I want to do this, because normally I don't do spoilers, but I want to talk about this. I want to talk about this ending as, why like I said before, this is, is a bit controversial, as it just could be a hit or a miss. And to me, it's a hit. But the problem is the ending is dark. I can see some people being pissed off or questioning about the future of the games as this ending is dark. So the ending is Hugo's dead. Yeah, Hugo died by the hands of her own sister, Amelia. Yeah, she died. No, 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 she killed him. And the reason why is Hugo thought she's died and he at least his powers virtually and virtually to the point that he can't show no more that the whole world about to end virtually and it, see the only way she can you know end it all is killing him and yeah not a safe ending i get quick i get quite on that it's not a safe ending it's a quite uh, a dark ending and be honest now if i'm predicting this game story before the second one came out i never many years thought this would happen I thought he would have died, but I thought he might do that on the, the last game. I thought he might make this like a fail, she, you know, make a, we take still caught with like Esper in a minute. Now, the reason why I still play this ending is it makes sense. If you play through the game, basically, it went to this island, and basically, you find out the law of, you know, this case. And basically, this case has been through. Mo been through to other people before. In we found out this incident on this one family basically with this boy and you know with his sister with this girl. I think it's a sister or a loving so again we don't know. I think it's a sister. We call with his called a protector to something. 
and basically his job is to protect the um the case, this case based you know, the person who got the case and basically he a boot a both been for the same thing what the main two has and the problem is a both had to have endings where to the point that he died a fucked up death so that's a big fucking hint we got in, in the beginning of the game, in, in right in the, not in the beginning of the game, right, right in the middle of the game and basically it got to the point that Hugo you know calls all his powers she tried to get him and Hugo goes in, inside her head and basically beg her please kill me and basically she takes his swings off and f- fight at his head and that then the credits close up and then after that you get a record right in the last game and this is uh, based on a year later and basically um you find out that there is another fam you know they, this could be passed on to another family version and now she's now working for that family version and to guide them and straight and straight after that credit because there's two sets of credits after, after that credit um you, you all you see is a baby with um you know the black veins which is you know the big gig you know big giveaway that the case is still carrying on now the question is what's going to happen next in the future of this game as acorn and said they've got no plans to make another one yet i got a feeling that there's one more game there's at least one more game in this now what we're going to be is it going to be um media you know carrying on her journey or it's going to be set in the future as there's no thing to the pregnant came i think i think it's like 200 years later why is it in the middle of the game we found out you know why you said before why is it said before about this um uh, backstory so is my question is that is it going to be straight after you know it going um go to the new kids straight away or going to wait like 100 years or 200 years so what what I'm getting is this could be a set in a new time period, and what could happen is you could see Easter eggs of this Amelia girl getting your clues about guiding, you know, helping, you know, this kid, you know, where whoever the new, you know, get, you know, characters are basically, or it's gonna be straight after, which again it could be too. You know what I mean? So it's very interesting. I can see loads of people going to do theories on what's going to be the next game. Which to me, I think this will, is going to be at least one more game. As I think this fan side does deliver theories. And it's not like, again, all games are happy theories. But to me personally, I can still see one more big storyline in this game. Easily. As it's not one of those games that, oh, it's a two part, it's a, you know, end it. No. You can do a lot more in this game. And again, it's limits, basically. And I can't wait to see more. And again, we do it straight away. I doubt it. The way it sounds like, they probably want to make a new IP first. But at the same time, I can see them still planning on a fair game, which I hope they do, because this game is so good, so special. So... Let's get to my final thoughts. Um, so my final thoughts on this game is a masterpiece. With a handful of fours, again, a handful of fours, but to me, I don't care if people say, it's a 9 out of 10. It is a must play, and if you've got Game Pass, seriously, play this game. you got no excuse, you know what I mean, <laughs> not to play this game. As you got Game Pass, it's fucking free, you know what I mean. But at the same time, I feel bad not paying price for this game as this game is a fucking masterpiece. And again, this is the second game. This is, you know, twice I, you know, played the game for free as I never played the first one until it went to PlayStation Plus for free, you know, last year. I think it was last year on the PS5 version of it. And I played it in one sitting and God, I was mind blown and this game is a fucking amazing and then basically then the sequel got coming out after I bought an Xbox and I had the sequel pre-order on the PlayStation and then of course it's on Game Pass I uh, save me a bit of money you know what I mean and it probably get paid by Microsoft so I cast my pre-order and you know download it on the Series X on Game Pass and God 
I play this game two days straight. Sorry, um, two days straight. I play this game. Basically, like I said, seventeen hours. So under seventeen hours, it took me to complete this game. And God, yeah, I had a blast. I can't wait to see more of this game. And now, um, looking up now, I got another game to play, which is you know, for Final Fight Royal, which I already played, but it's on Xbox now, so you know, excuse to play the whole thing again. So, my question today is, what you thought of this fan size, or what you think will be the future of this fan size of the player's tale? As I want to see more, I do. I think this game, this series, this world, or even spin offs, would you like to see a spin off with? I would too. I think that how good this world is. So, that's my question. And also, if you like the review, please leave a like. And if you want to see more in the future, please subscribe to my channel. This has been a break, who cares? See you on the next one.